Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron for using the No Step Back DLC in which we're playing as good old Russian Empire. Um, right now this is where we left off, basically I had to replay the entire last episode just because I didn't realize that in our focus tree that eventually we could get a certain alliance with a certain German nation. So I went back and replayed to make sure that these guys are actually uh, going down the correct Adolf route in which Adolf is still here and he's done really well against, well, the French as you can tell. It's February 13th, 1940. Poland still exists for ungodly reasons, and, uh, yeah, not bad. Um, they did give up Danzig. It looks really disgusting with Posen, Posen still under them, but, oh, well, we're currently abolishing, though, the five-year plan. The five-year plans of the Soviet regime prioritized intensive industrialization of the country over everything else. The point that has become one of the greatest symbols of Bolshevik oppression. We must eradicate this project and draw up a new national plan for industrialization, which, in which we're going to go with national specialists. Whoopsie. Yeah, I had to go anyways. Our economic, economic development must primarily be driven by people familiar with the state it is in. Foreigners would take a long time to gain that knowledge, and perhaps even worse, they would take it with them and... Hello. Uh, take it with them when they leave. Come with the nations. Also, we do have a couple different nations here. Different groups. So we have the Axis, you can tell. We also have the Confederate European nations, led by a non-aligned Britain. Uh, let's see who else, is, who else is in that faction. Uh, of course, the Europeans... China, Greece, hmm, and they're fighting the Germans as well, but, hmm, and Italy is in Axis, China, Axis, yeah, that's very weird. If we were to join their faction, we would have to go to war with Sing Kyong immediately, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We're also the Commonwealth of Nations, which is the group that has broken away from the UK, including the US. Yeah. We have Imperialist Canada in Canada, so overall not bad. Now, I do want to read the focus oh, just because I redid really this I, just because I want to get the Berlin Moscow Axis. With the new government now firmly installed out of the German and Italian models, we should reach out to men form relations with our Western neighbors. If we focus on the views we share, we might well establish a strong and lasting alliance between ourselves and the Reich. Okay, then. Let's see. Unyielding Defender, Unyielding Defender. Also, since we're past two minutes, I do want to let you know that. On this channel of mine, um, at the time of this recording, I did get a strike, or a, really a warning. So, some at the time of this recording, I'm going to, have to calm down a little bit on the slightly spicy uh, titles for my videos, just to let you know, and maybe even thumbnails. But we'll see, see what happens. I just wanted to make sure that you know what was going on on this channel. So, because someday YouTube is probably going to remove me. But thanks, YouTube. Um, I did say I did want to remove these, remove this. I don't mind. Uh, you get blitz though. I like the tactics. I like getting extra tactics. That's really nice. Do I really want to go to war with these guys immediately? Hmm. Not really. Let's see. Toyohara. Oh, they're fighting the group here as well. So where are you guys at? You guys are just kind of hanging out. That's fine with me. Because then I can use you guys against Sin Kyung. I'm doing good war with anybody. Tanutuva. Well, I guess we do have cores on them. Well, it takes a while to do it, don't it? It do take a while to kill them off. So let's come up there too. Yeah, you never know. This channel might be taken down someday. So enjoy it while it lasts. I know I have. Alrighty. And yes, we do a lot of stuff here. We don't have a lot of political power. It is what it is. But I do want to get the research slot as fast as possible, which is why we're waiting for, like, the Pacific Rim, or pass by the Rim, not Pacific Rim, the rightful heir to the Empire, which I didn't realize that we could do this one, but we can't get a certain focus as well. Um, or we can do Westward Bound and do Pan Slavic Nationalism, which I did do when I did the Romanov Reconstruction. I should have went with them and done their Slavic commitments, but I still want to get Third Rome as well. That'd be kind of cool. The Defiler of the Sun God. That sounds really cool. But I do want the research slot. So, mm, Eastern Development. The areas of the Far East beyond the Euro Mountains offer vast, untapped resources and wide areas for industrial development. Oh, look at Switzerland. We must ensure that they're prepared to power bigger projects. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Oh, supply is not so bueno down here now, is it? There you go, and then there you go. But we're going to need some Rotorinos. So, you guys go there, and there. And then you guys go from here, all the way down to there. Or we could go from here to there. Just so that we can have a lot of different ways to get to here. Which I think would be super important. Uh, you go to the top. You top, top it as well. Good. I don't want to go to war with too many people at first yet. Just because we need both our industry. We need both our supply. We need both our resources. Develop the Euros. The biggest threat against our nation will probably come from a nation in Europe. By developing the areas beyond the Euro Mountains, we will create a reserve of industrial capacity that even the longest range bomber will find difficult to reach. Sorry, guys. I don't want to go to war yet. Give me time and we will definitely, definitely, definitely end up at war. 
Also, the Japanese, they are in the Axis, but they're purple. And they're not aligned. Oh, they, they were in a civil war. Oh, we could join their war. Hirohito did not like what they were up to down here. Led by Tetsu Taya Kata, Katayama. Why, why can I not spell that? Or, or pronounce that? Spell that? Oh my goodness. Why can I speak? Me no speak, you're good right now. My apologies. But yeah, after that one, yeah. Develop the roles would be very nice. Keep building up them roads. Ooh, that's so close to being done, too. Build up the uh, civvy. And then the milli as well. This last one doesn't really matter too much, but... Yeah, building ourselves up would be pretty good. We're only on war economy. We're no longer in total mobilization, just because we needed that manpower. And we're still mobilizing. So, overall, not too bad. Equipment-wise, we are out of guns anyways. Guns, sword support equipment as well. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's real not good. Let's see, more horse boys? Yes. You guys go and train for now. Ooh, I forgot about you guys need supplies as well. Hmm. Actually, are you guys on... Yeah? These guys are already motorized. Supply just sucks in Asia. Hmm. I had a theorist it's going to be bad. Mass is opium. I did want this, but you cannot take hit this guy and do has not completed the third Rome focus. So there'd be no point to do that, even though that's really strong to get a thousand weekly manpower. Um, recovery rate, compliance strength, extra manpower would be actually really nice, and more non-core manpower. Aristocratic investments are gone. More political power as well. Simeonov? Oh, has not completed approach Simeonov. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, we can't choose that. Whatever. Miladoros, the theorist. Driver of the Faithful is not bad either. Um, let's choose this guy just because we get more manpower. Something slightly different and unique. And then the Imperial Academy of Sciences. To remain competitive in the field of, of applied sciences, we must also be on the forefront of theoretical sciences. We already have a well-established Academy of Sciences, but with some additional funding, it would prove, provide us with a truly world-class research infrastructure. Which would be very nice. And by going to war with these guys, we will be going directly into war with them, so... And we could go to war with them now, but... I want to wait till supplies to get all be better. Because it's looking, uh... Pretty not good right now. Where are you at? Oh, you're over here too. You know what? Just finish the supply. You know, supply could be such a huge issue. And we will take Poland and probably take the historical eastern parts of it, so that would be really nice too. Yeah. Oh, and the allies are down here. Oh, it's just the Greeks. Italians are failing in Greece. What else is new? Great Britain's over here. Free France. Anything else around here? Ooh, the Pearls Canada's not doing great. Uh, they're slowly winning against China. Yeah, overall. Slowly winning against Ch 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 China. Anything else around here? No. Free coalition? No. They're all independent by themselves. Yeah, I'm going to take these states independently first. Turn two of first off. And we have a, about a month left, which is not bad. That one's almost done, 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 done. Um, you know what? I'd rather get the railroads done more quickly. Just because supply is so bad. And we have different alternative routes for them to take. That would be bad. Oh, what is this? Uh, we can get more sport. Air volunteer cap. Hmm. Well, we're kind of okay without doing that, so. I think that'd be okay not to do for now. Um, are we missing any resources? No, we're actually okay. We're importing some rubber as well. Ooh, air. Uh, what do we have for air? Naval bombers. Street bo tactical bombers. So let's go with the tactical bomber for this campaign. Operational integrity, thank you very much. Civvy infrastructure, civvy infrastructure. Not bad. I just want to go to war with them, man. I just want to go to war with them. Ooh. More manpower? Yes, please. And we have this. National Brotherhood, crowning jewel of Russia. Yeah, we really don't like communists here. Tsar Vladimir the First, restore the glory of the motherland, rebuild the nation, Romanov spirit, which is also very nice. The true Tsar, so we still get some manpower, anyways. That's not bad. Right, so after that one, National Science Academies of Sciences, project for national industrialization. Yeah. Improve railway trains, local grad, eh, Astrakhan, Georgia, Armenia, supply hubs, and Romansk, and such like that. We'll get another design company, which would not be bad actually. Let's do that one immediately. Our first five-year plan proved to be too successful. The massive expansion and heavy industries left the Soviet Union, or really the Russian Empire, in a much stronger position to defend herself. But the Soviet, or Russian railway network, has just some critical bottlenecks. The People's Commissar of Railways, NKPS, has an ambitious plan to close these bottlenecks and ensure that we can defend the motherland. Who's the motherland are we referring to? Ours? Now, Mongolia, we don't have cords anymore. Well, that sucks. That's a long booty time. That's a ridiculously on a long time. As long as they don't join anybody. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. No, yes. Yay, thanks, buddies. Chem Baldir. 
We have you as a course date. We'd like to have you. Thank you very much. Build, build, build. Oh, we almost have one Alma Alta. Come on. Come on, horse boys. You can make it. Wow, that really sucks. Large river, mud, infrastructure. Never fight a land war in Asia. Never, 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 never. Oh, you got it done. Nice. Good job. Yay. Did it help out at all? Well, you need railroads to connect it, so. Oh, you guys are still doing that one. Actually, that, that'll definitely help out down here, too. Nice. And Tanutuva's gone. Thank goodness I didn't enjoy any affection. Thank you, Tanutuva. We appreciate you. For now. Uh, not Manguquo. But Mongolia. Oh, we can go to war. Oh, we can go to war with these guys too. Imperial Quantum territories, but they're in the Axis. Huh? Cancel. Oh, what? Cancel. Oh, guys, guys. We got enough guns now. Support equipment still not good. T uh, light tanks. There you go. Anyone guaranteeing Poland? Ah, uh, English shard, darn it. Oh, the Great British. Ah, uh, Polish militarism. So be it. So be it. Keep going. Keep working on it. It kind of sucks right now. Nikolaev. Another city, please. Thank you. Because we just need to build ourselves up. Because we're honestly running late. We're trying to build ourselves up. Logistics one would be very good, though. Let's see these horsies. Thank you. Just... Okay, we don't... Another temple with the same name already exists. Well, no, does it? Lies. All lies. Actually, do we have any more artillery? No, we don't. Okay, then. Oh, better plans up. 1940 is good stuff. Oh, let's come over here, too. And there we go. Nice. Oh, so that's looking a lot better now. 185 days. Yeah, we could go to war with them. Could go to war with these guys. Do we go to war with Mongolia? Confederate European nations. Oh, yeah, we have you guys as well. Uh, well, yeah, that's the reason for having Thanks, Sam. We do go to war. It does lower our stability, which does kind of suck. Oh, what is this? Rural conditions. Return Manchuria. Two are the only rightful people's regime in China. Yeah, I don't know about that, ma'am. Hmm. Or industrial concerns. Improved railway. We honestly, I'm gonna go this way because that'd be something we've not done yet before. Uh, trains, production costs, reliability, supply help, construction speed plus 15%. I mean, that's a big percentage plus. You know, better because supply consumption and consumer goods production is still pretty important too. Yeah. What for three stars off finally? Thank goodness. Honestly, if that's the case, 50 through air power. Hmm. Mm, not a, not jazz about any of these ones. Chongxi is gone. We go to total mobilization probably. Okay, you now join them as well. You know what? Let's just go to war. I want to go to war. Let's see what happens. Oh, who, hold on. Oh, they're fine. Just fine. Just fine. So we go to war. Those guys. These guys. These guys. That's fine. I forgot that. Third five-year plan disrupted. With the current attack on the motherland, it's clear that our previous plans for economic growth are no longer feasible. Me return to them once peace has been restored, but for now we must focus on military production. Oh no. Say it isn't so. Can you guys actually win here by yourselves? Mm, yeah, they might be with too long. You takes national leadership in China. That sounds slightly familiar. Or maybe you can't win down here. How much manpower do they have? Uh, they do have a, 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 a smorgasbord. We are fighting America now, but, you know, whatever. It happens on occasion. Um, anything else here? No, nothing we really care about too much. Can use a oh, oh, that sucks. No more rebellion nation. Get at least one thing from rubber from these fine, fine folks. And go buy those posturing of the others. And, oh, we can't even go here. We need more war support. Oh, crap. Well, every time we get some uh, war support then. Thank you very much. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. And military factory wise, one, two, maybe. Get some more support equipment. Yeah, we're just not really for prime time yet. I like that extra manpower that we do have, don't get me wrong, but... What is this? Strategic bombers? Naval bombers? Well, maybe we really want you guys can train. Uh, let's get some more planes, shall we? 
I guess the goal right now would be for us to help take out Great Britain. Well, we do not have a great navy. What we do have, or what we can do, is make some planes. And we have a lot of groups here. They have a lot of fighters, but they're just not doing anything. Um, actually, if anything, I want you guys to go here immediately and do this. There we go. Give them some sort of bomber support right now. Oh, we are pushing in. That's kind of nice. And it'll give us some more experience with General Grigory Simeonov. And we do need to keep some political power here so we can get women in the workplace because we need total mobilization. Yes, please. Supply wide is still probably god awful, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's gay. Come on up here. Now we could have war on Guangxi clique. That's fine with us. And if anything, I do want to go to war with Poland next as well. So. Yeah, Italy's doing slightly better down here as well. Yes, and Portugal's a disgusting, pukey green color. The fifth Portuguese empire. Nice mustache, Francisco. And then we have Mr. Blanc, Blue-Eyed Jose. Alf Landon. No wheelchair man. And Mackenzie King. Dude's name Mackenzie. Kind of weird. I think we do about this. Uh, maybe. Cut him off from the capital. He's over here on this side. Kind of nice. nice cool. Kami China's gone. Goodbye, Kami China. You'll be fine without that. Go there, 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 there. Take all the territory. Thank you. Improved railway network. Follow it up with what? Uh, strength and mobilization plan. Our biggest military advantage has always been the vastness of our country and the people, amount of people living in it. But when it comes to getting soldiers to the front, these two things can work against each other. We'll have to continuously improve and update our mobilization plans to ensure that in the event of war, we can concentrate our forces rather quickly. We do want to do some other stuff down here too. Yeah, because we need to vengeance for the yoke. Oh, we don't have to just find them. Well, duh. Duh, Mr. Mokolever. Oh, my goodness. Again, more people population factor, mobilization speed. Uh, many centuries ago, the Mongols launched a brutal invasion of Russian lands. They remain the only people who could ever be said to have truly conquered Russia. They may seem weak now, but we must make sure that they never again return to their former strength so that we may never again feel the Tartar yoke. Weird, but okay, yeah. Actually, how many more days do we have for uh, Mongolia? Well, we must keep it going on. We must get to that focus, pretty much. It's a little laggy, but that's okay. There you go. And then we're going to go with uh, disparate measures. In this desperate situation, we must take measures we'd previously thought impossible. Anything that can be done to stem the invasion must be done. What do you mean by invasion? We went to war with them. Anything here? Combine arms? Eh, it's okay. Who cares, Matic? Our recovery rate is pretty nice. And we're doing this also to get more land auction because our army XP is really bad right now. Oh, they must be connected all through here. And not India. No, just through here, though. Huh. Alright, whatever. Just kind of hold and then just kind of. Oh, there goes. Uh, Greece. Goodbye, Greece. You guys are probably going there to do well. Probably. Alright, so we have 82% war support. Can we go to total mobilization? Yes, yes we can. And then we'll get those women in the factories. Sin Kyung is gone. Good job. I think I'm going to put you guys over here too. Just because with all these horses, um, we're going to have to move them around just a little bit. Oh, Spain. Thank you. Yeah, we're lacking a little bit of that there sport equipment. That's not very good for us. Yeah, but keep making more stuff. That is very good for us. More naval doctrine. Nice. Keep going in. You're doing great. Logistics 2 is awesome. Get some more better engineers. Thank you very much. Yeah, logistics looking just not bueno. Trade's looking okay, though. But you should be becoming a engineer... Desert Fox, Mountaineers, Ranger, Hills Fighter, all that good stuff. Wait, we can't put women in the workplace? Oh. Well, that's not good. So, we're fascists. More than 89% war support. Okay, so we need just need more war support then. Desperate measures. After desperate measures, uh, we could restore Cossack units, or we could co do Cohesion first. Which, honestly, I think Cohesion first is better just because we have training times. But, I think for this one, just we'll restore Cossack units because we can. And they are of need. The motherland does not ask details about who wants to serve to defend it. Anyone willing to bear arms against the invaders is welcome and will be employed to the best of their abilities. Sure, why not? Why not? 
Both up again still. Yeah. Oh, we, we can do women in the workforce. Okay, well, whatever. Do the best you can. If you die, you die. It is what it is. That's a sacrifice we're willing to take and make. As we're getting ready to go to war with the Mongolians. In about a month, roughly a month-ish. Jabi Um, oh, not a lot of manpower. They probably have more guns than... Uh, well, maybe not. Let's keep working on this, too. I did ask you guys yesterday what we should call this. And someone came up with a good name. Um, but I think it's really going to work with Kim Philby here. But his name is Kim. So, someone... I did ask you guys that. It should, some of you guys recommended it should be called the Okrana. But I do like the Women's uh, Fascist League. And someone did say we should try to get all women here. Well, it's a little late to get all women here, but... Uh, Kim Philby. Kim's sort of a woman's name, sort of-ish. And, uh, yeah, why not? We can maybe get all women, except for Kim. Sounds like fun. Alright, so since you're not really winning here, you should all hold. Because supply is just god-awful here. Desperate measures. Cohesion first sounds better, but whatever. Peanut Battalions is okay. Let's see, it's over here. It is almost 1941. Let's grab some Roblin. Because we could really use them. Hmm. Find the Ministry of Defense Industry? Yeah, that would be bad to do. Our government's industry has grown very large and now requires a dedicated government office to coordinate if it is going to grow even further. We shall establish a Ministry of Defense Industry. Not a bad idea. More attack bombers, good. More guns needed, not so good. There you go. Women, yay. I'm going to this. Why are they still called Soviet railways? Well, we're going to get it anyways, but still. Why are they Soviet railways? Happy 41, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. So this should move actually quite a bit faster to actually make it. So this one should be done soon. Hey, look at that. Li Zonggren. So it feels like Kaiserreich China now. Everyone want to kill each other so much. Oh my goodness. There you go. That's what we want to see. Can we actually push in? I don't think so. We could try it. You guys might do okay. What do we force the attack? Would that do anything? <clears throat> we do better here, maybe. Slowly, but yes. Another tank division just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. Wait, do you want manpower for the garrisons? Bro. Bro. I can send you that many dudes. You're welcome, Germany. You're welcome. We are very generous here, as we can all tell. And you find out they got 5 million manpower. They still have a million. Man. Oh, we get to do this one first, though. But we'll read that next. Honestly, these divisions aren't great. They're just not bad. They're not bad. They're not great. This one's okay to keep. Uh, Get review, and then... Thank you. There you go. Sure, thank you. Oh, yes, thanks. Look at that, nice. Are we missing guns? Uh, no, just support equipment. It must be military police are reasoning right now. Oh, or not. Okay, then whatever. Uh, rehabilitated military. The Bolsheviks kept an extremely zealous watch on the military and knew what, what was it used for. What was what use was it for them? Well, we must give the figure of the political officer to ensure that eradication of communist tinged thoughts. During the war, we should let the military officials or officers. Make judgments based on the military situation, not based on political considerations. Sounds like a good idea. Hope we don't get stuck here. Oh, they're actually attacking us, huh? Oh, we are attacking them too in Mongolia. Olam Batar would be very nice to grab. Uh, Fifth Portuguese Empire? Sure. We don't, we'll don't. we try to agree to not kill each other. Do we? Oh, we lost it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, get over here then. There you go. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Oh, supply over here is really quite bad as well. What if we had two supply bases? Though? Hey, Mongolia's gone. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay, hang out for now. I don't want to lose that many guys to you, so... 
Probably best not to keep it just attacking them all willy nilly. We could do worker bonds, raise factory, worker militias. No, we're good. Naval blockade. Invade the blockade with Portuguese convoys. We'll accept the offer to use Portuguese convoys to transport goods where our own ships cannot reach. The morale of our troops. Oh, look at that. Uh, we'll increase when they finally see their, their basic supply issues fixed. Huh. Well, I think it's time to finally uh, right or wrong that we've had for a while now. Oh, you guys can go in maybe? No? Yes? No, you can't. Uh, let's see if we can double down then. Yeah, we need some tackle arms. We need more factions in general. Engineers, not bad. That's good, though. Yes, that's good for us. All right, so any women here? Oh, my goodness. Yepsilinia Parifoliana. Well, or Yekaterina Boronstova. As much as I would like a woman with good lips and a seducer. Oh, maybe. Mm, she's tough. Do we like tough women or seducer? Um, I think we know our answer here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, military Engineering University is not bad, too. More max entrenchment immediately is really nice, but we don't really need more defense. Let's, because I want to rush down and grab this one too, and then we'll go down further the fascist tree. So, Ministry of Mechanical Engineering. Our industry has become capable of creating increasingly large, complex machine tools and other, uh, other heavy machines to the point where it would be justified to form a separate governance entity to coordinate these projects. And did ask you, uh, I've got some comments to go through as well, so we will get through some comments very soon. You guys are probably starving for supplies. I know it sucks here in Asia. I know, I know. Thank you. Just in case. And that's why we got this company here to help us out. Why does it still say CCP? Oh, the world may never know. Divine driver of the faithful. Hmm. More political power would be nice. Compliance growth in our states occupied by the enemy. Well, I don't think it's Poland, yeah. Required garrisons, weekly manpower. Eh, let's do Patriarch Sergei. That sounds like fun. Ooh, actually. Uh, put you guys against Finland, maybe? We, we do want to take out the Finns as well, so. How many divisions are we making? No, 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 no. Just this one. That's fine. There we go. Same color, whatever. All right, let's see if we can go in. Three, two, one, I don't care. Supplies, probably not great around here, but whatever. Oh no, they joined the Commonwealth of Nations. Who could have seen that one coming? I guess Germany wasn't really ready for a war either, huh? Don't really care, to be honest. Actually, what are the casualties like? Uh, we've lost 66,000, which is not good. Germans lost one and a half million, which isn't good, but whatever. For the Portuguese Empire, 300,000. Yeah, it's kind of all mixed. It's all mixed. I'm not worried about this front, though. Because after them, I think it's time to go to Finland, too. Three, five days ain't too bad. Led by Alexander? Sure. How are we doing here? Are we still starving for supplies? Oh, you bet we are. Actually, you know what might help out if we get like a airbase here, maybe? Don't really want to help attack right now, but we could in a little bit. Or we do it right now, anyways. See what we're capable of. Because <clears throat> once these guys don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Oh, I forgot about this too. Oh, well. Um, hopefully, they can start launching invasions into here or something. Uh oh. Or that's not good. Smash Empire. Recovering from the Civil War, that's why they don't want to join us yet, probably. That would actually make a lot of sense. Okay, War Bonds one. We could really use them right now. Yeah. Help lower their entrenchment, please, and thank you. And more Army XP, thank you. Defense and organization, awesome.
Man, if the Germans don't want to come in, that's fine. We'll just like, pull in for ourselves then. Keep going in, the Poles won't last out longer. German Soviet Treaty. Despite our previous rhetoric against both the people and the ideological leadership of the Russian Empire, Hitler and Germany, and then reach out to us, requesting a mutually beneficial research treaty. While exchanging knowledge would help our efforts develop new tank designs along with the promise of other research benefits in the future, there is no doubt that considering uh, previous <clears throat> statements that the Germans are doing this for their own sake, should we go forward with the agreement despite the risk of hating Hitler's ambitions? Oh, I think that'd be great. Um, who's not a war with us that we really care about? The German Reich is... What? Bros. Bros. Um. Germany, you okay? They get a war, it doesn't mean they're going to use it. But if they do use that, I'm going to have to use, use Khan's commands to not make that fire just because it doesn't make, it, doesn't make any sense for us. So. We are literally allies, so let's do Pass by the Rim. We can all, allow a repeat of the war in 1905 when our Far Eastern holdings were attacked and found woefully under, unprepared. <clears throat> Look at this. Uh, for the onslaught, we need to invest in the local infrastructure to be able to quick, sh quickly shift troops around if the need arises. Oh, they're doing force defense. Oh, that's admirable, we'll say. You want this? God dang it. Fine, take it. Oh no. There they go. Goodbye. This is a really bad idea. Oh, the tanks are still fighting here, huh? I forgot about the tanks. Whoopsie. Panzer expert. As the Western Mad is getting invaded in the Balearic Islands. Makes sense. Oh, are we fighting these guys now? What are you always fighting? Oh, it's the other Portuguese Empire, I think. Yeah. Is it? Eh, whatever. Do we win? Yay! Oh, up here is gonna suck too, isn't it? Oh, you bet it is. But we wouldn't want it any other way. Go and finish those guys off down here. Oh, Minsk's will be done. Do we really need another one of Minsk though? Huh. Extraction? Yes, please. Here we go in. Please and thank you. And finally, Estonia died. Yay! It only took him forever, though. Yay! Just in case. Okay, yay! But please don't kick us out, because I've been kicked out of factions before, for, at least in the Allies, where we did become faction leader. So <clears throat> I hope we don't get kicked out, so we'll see what happens. Bro, I already gave you garrison support earlier. And I've heard through the grapevine that you want to kill us off as well. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Air stuff? Yes, please. Oh, we have that many divisions, huh? I'm sure supply is just got awful up here anyway, so, yeah. More extraction? Just in case, because, my goodness, we're going to need some aluminum, aren't we? Yes, we will. Very nice. Keep going, keep going. You're fine, you're fine. You're looking beautiful. Okay, Iran? Um, or Afghanistan? Well, which one has more manpower? Okay, you guys. Or Tibet. I think I'm going to go to Tibet first. Yeah, let's go to Tibet, because since we're already there, we're just waiting for him anyways. Yeah, we actually focus on some tanks as well. You know, tanks take so much to produce. That's gonna suck how much it costs to make tanks. Um, we're gonna need way more naval bombers. We're gonna need way more tanks. Way more everything in general. I mean, except for guns. Hey, Finland's gone. Thank God.
So what about this main army? Well, you never know. Oh, actually, we took a lot more of Poland than I thought we would have. I really hope that the Germans get that one overridden, especially if we're in a war together. Because we're buddies! We're buddies! Anna! We're buddies, right? Right. They wouldn't want to hurt us at all. Oh, we're almost over there. Uh, that's why I built the airplane here, too. Just in case for these guys as well. Attack bombers? A little bit of gas. Not too many attack bombers, though. Alright. We can get along with this one. Can duplicate you. Nice. Oh, look at that. Exactly what we wanted. And... Eastern expansion. Oh, we get less supply consumption. Russia's least feature lies in the east. After we obtained Siberia. Oh, join the Axis. Great. It's only fitting that we should endeavor to gain even more land resources here. Oh, that's so good. We could definitely use that. Absolutely. I like that one, actually. We're slowly going to be taking out the world, so. Oh my god, supply is so bad down here. Tibet, join a faction. Um, sure, guys, if you want to join the war, that's fine with us. Just don't lose too hard. Yeah, Alexander Olozhenko. Olozhenko, thank you. No, you're not Italian, but still. You cut that division off up there, that'd be good. It'd be very good. Hey, oh, oh, that oh, was one. Oh, it's actually four. Oh, they're dead anyways. Nice. Some interesting Scandinavians, not bad too. Someone got here, sending the other groups literally right next to him, I guess. Women. Nadia Selyanina. Man, I do not pronounce these names correctly, do I? No, I do not. But just in case, you can see what do as well. You never know. God, I want some good tanks. We'll probably have to wait and see what we can make. Go one, two. I want to build more roads. We can build things faster as well. 80% uh, is not bad. And... I uh, kind of figured that would happen eventually. Well, it's Norway, not Sweden, but whatever. I'm exactly guarding the place right now, but whatever. There you go. Follow Gibraltar. That's very, 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 very good to see. Good going if you can. That'd be awesome. Which is fine on these guys, too. Asia is our playground, my friends. Rebuild the Far Eastern Frontier. Russian corporate state? Might as well. The future of Russia is not a class conflict, but rather class cooperation. This end, the state shall establish national unions to reconcile the interests of labor and capital, and thus, through these, regulate the production. Nice. <clears throat> now this opens up the entire thing back up to us, which is really good. Anything else here? Ah, Mariusia. It looks like this is going to be kind of a crapper state to try to fight. Uh, there you go. Good do is just get these guys out of here. Because the spot's gonna be so bad anyways, so. <clears throat> so you guys are leaving, which is good. Basic armor protection, get the next level as well. Good. Expand that way too, because we're going to need that very soon too. Nepal's going to have to die too, eventually. As well as. Oh, actually, you guys can come to Afghanistan if you really wanted to. He's still going to take a supply loss anyway, so. 
Might as well. Or do Iran first. That might be easier to do Iran and then do the rest of Afghanistan. Uh, yeah, Russia could be safe. Thank you. Mm. Well, they have to go quite a bit for Spy, actually. I do want this tile so badly, though. Yeah, they're probably not going to make it. Alright. Good working conditions. We are about class cooperation, not class conflict. Is Jeremy still trying to kill us? Or they must have just got that focus done then. Oh, Polish partition pass? Pack? That's fine with us. Yeah, that's fine. I'm more than happy with that. You guys actually win here? Doesn't look like it, actually. Well, we can try. Oh, we could definitely try. Some of the comments was included, uh, for God, nation, and labor. Yeah, we should do TNO Japan sometime, since they Japan's been fixed, and delete unused division templates. Yeah, we could probably do that too. The German Foreign Ministry has proposed a non-aggression pact with between our two nations. This treaty will increase, uh, increase our mutual trade and an additional support or protocol suggests that the division of Eastern Europe into German and Soviet spheres. While the fascists in Berlin may not be trustworthy, this pact will allow us to deal with Finland, the Baltic States, and Romania without fear of outside inf interference. The Eastern territories of Poland will also follow us in the event of a Polish collapse. Okay. Sounds good to us. Uh, sure. They are under the pact. In accordance with the pact, uh, German forces have evacuated Eastern Poland and our own troops have moved to occupy the territory. Well, I mean... Yeah, we kind of already did that. Oh, they're on all that serve. Yeah! Partitioning Poland. Poland is ours, but the western parts fall under the German sphere of influence according to the stipulations of the molotov Trap Pact. Should we withdraw our forces and let the Germans occupy the territory? A failure to do so would render our treaty void. Now it belongs to all of us. There you go. That's what we don't have to deal with it. All right. Throwing U-24 divisions down here is probably a bad idea, but whatever. They occupy Western Poland, which is fine, fine, fine with us. Us, us. Lots and lots of supply being made. All we're doing is focusing on armor. That's literally all we care about right now. Armor this, armor that, armor, 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 armor. The more damage you do now, the more damage that, well, they can't really replace. Especially here, natively in Bhutan, hopefully. Or guns, hopefully. Or something like that. Rubber? Yes, please. Oh, we could have gone to war with Nepal. I forgot about that. We still can. There we go. So, you kind of suck. Happens. Can I move the line now? Yeah, we can. Nice. That's better. Denmark is gone. Good. And they're still moving through here, which is got off to look at, but still, whatever. Right, so you guys are okay over there. You guys, as they control the affairs, that's fine. Um, after the corporate state, what else? Intercentral Asia? Well, we're already going to go to war with them. That's not bad, too. Intervention in America sounds like a lot more fun, actually. Uh, Vengeance for the Yoke? Uh, that should auto-bypass. Westward Bound? Ooh, that's not bad, too. Uh, much of our Western possessions were lost with the collapse of our empire caused by the revolution. The town has come to build up our infrastructure in preparation for claiming our rightful possessions. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Still 41. Better already. Why not? We're still training our shippies. How are we doing up here? Are they attacking us? Are we attacking them? No. Can't really do too much against them, huh? Kinda sucks. The only fa only uh, woman you need in your life is a fascist woman, according to uh, the Women's Fascist League. Fa fascist women are the best women. Sure, guys, we'll join your wars, even though we already are in your wars, probably. Uh, Iran. Actually, there's fewer divisions up here than I thought there would be. You guys are fine. Mm 
Okay, do we have any other bombers? Not too many. That does kind of suck. Okay, so that one does not auto bypass. Okay, that's kind of stupid. But after this one, we will do military organization. Yeah, mechanical engineering. I'm not taking a while to do that one, so. Well, we'll see what we can do. Latvia? Sure, why not? There's a claim state. That's fine with us. Ooh. Nuclear stuff? Don't mind if we do. Radar? Sure, why not? Supply wise, Asia is a god dang mess. We did put a supply over here too, though. It's pretty smart. But over here. Oh, it's so bad. There's a supply base here, it looks like. Supply hub. I keep calling bases, but whatever. Basically the same thing. Oh, there's another one down there too. That's not bad. Happy 42, everybody. Yeah, this episode's just been taking out just a bunch of smaller nations. Which is fine with me. Sometimes you just need episodes like that. There you go. These uh, tank divisions are what? Not bueno enough. You are we not? Oh, we must be out still of blank tanks, aren't we? Oh my goodness, that sucks. Oh, hello. Go ambusher, because you did get no no effect from infantry expert. I'll do that one too, anyways, we can. Yeah, up here we would struggle a lot, of, quite a bit. But then again, we do attack, and we can't necessarily win. It's not a bad thing, since these guys won't be able to move their divisions usually anyway, so. Yeah, actually win here. Oh, yeah! American divisions! Oh, look at that! Can the tanks do anything? Uh, I don't think they really can. Oh, you guys too, so. You guys over here for now. Go on in if you can. Other tanks lead first. You know, they're probably going to suffer and die. Whatever. It's all for the army XP. All I care about right now. And after this, we'll go to war with Afghanistan. Gotta love Afghanistan. It says we can win, but I kind of really doubt them. I really doubt we could really win here, so... Can't really win anywhere, maybe it's up here, maybe. Yeah, I don't know why the AI thinks we can win here. Oh, here and there, maybe. Some of these guys are forcing the attack. Kinda crazy. Getting another Millie and another Civi at the same time. Good job, guys. Keep going in. Come on, it's only Riga. Please just take it. More arty? Yes, please. Going in, guys. There are only 11 divisions here. Because they are surrounded, we're fighting into force, but whatever. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, maybe yes. Not bad, guys. Yeah, that seems okay. Lafia is gone. Vengeance for the yoke. Do this one next, and lessons of war. <clears throat> Whatever plans we have before the war of large do not survive contact with the enemy, we must be open to the lessons this war is teaching us and not stick to outdated dogma. Only then can we stop our retreat and start to go back on the offensive. Which, we've been doing nothing but be on the offensive in this, in this episode. Kabul would be nice, but we must wait slightly first. You guys are slowly winning here. Um, Bangladesh would be good to get rid of as well. Might as well just, just, just fight anyways. It's fine. Forgot about this stuff as well, not bad. Uh, more theorists, and we're kind of already doing that stuff. Nuclear stuff, there's only, there's not much stuff for that rocket scientist. We're gonna go with this guy, just because I would never choose him, normally, so. 
Yay. Yeah, we're pressing good. It gets more. We're still out. We're still out a whole bunch. Cavalry, uh, combined arms are very good to grab, too. Anything here we really care about? Anything from here we really care about? Excuse me. Oh, they're not attacking us. Holy crap. Do they have a port down here? No, they don't. Uh, they will be slowly starving for supplies, which is great, but we don't have to invade just yet. We don't have to. It's always good to realize when you don't have to. And we're going to attack in southern Iberia. But I'm not really too concerned about that. How are we doing in Africa? Doing okay? But you France not at war. It just kind of suck. That's alright. Are we doing okay here too? Oh yeah, we're doing extremely well. Holy crap. Wow. I don't know how well we were doing up here. Oh, we got two curious here. Man, I, I should have focused on so much. But there's just, just too much to focus on. After this, this episode, I think we're going to really focus on taking out the UK. And UK, Ireland... And we'll see about that. Yeah. And we go into Africa. So probably go to the war with Iraq, through Iraq, into Africa that way. And that's the game plan. That is the game plan for us. Not bad. Guess keep moving down through here. Yes. East Bengal. Of course, we don't want them to join the faction yet before we can actually kill them all, so... Alright, horses. Good luck. You should do okay issue down here, but maybe not. Whatever. Uh, we're just fine in Afghanistan, because they're taking a little bit longer than I thought they would. It only takes 30 days, which is fine. Whatever. Okay, never mind. We're going to go in immediately. Cancel it. Wasted PP. If you stop, can if you cancel that, I mean, you should just not lose. You should recuperate a slight bit of that PP. Depending on how far your justification has gone on. Because next up we'll go to war with Turkey then. Oh. No, we've not a Christian with them. God dang it. Well, Iran then. Uh, Iraq and Iraq. We're really just setting ourselves up for the next episode, in my opinion. Are they throwing? Oh, they have a the hotel up there that they can throw themselves in. That sucks. Whatever. Uh, well, Brazil is killing itself. Nice. Very nice. You guys are already down here. Hmm. Or it goes right there, too. You guys go in? You guys, you guys do okay? Well, somewhat-ish. Nice, there you go. They can't move, they can't do anything, so. Actually, where are we at? Are we getting more daily popularity? You know what? We can increase it. We can ban other parties. Sounds like fun to me. Struggling a little bit here. It's fine. Ambusher. We're doing okay in Afghanistan, which is nice. Very bueno. As much as I said I want to do lessons of war, and it'd be very good to do. I just want, we got a race down here, but we'll do this one first. Though. That's fine. The military organization would also be very good as well. So then, the means of wage war. While the planes, guns, and tranks in the army often attract the highest attention and look best in parades, the common soldier carries his more a lot about the quality of his rifle and the comfortability of his boots. We've acknowledged that these are the things that are at least as important to waging war as any fighter plane or heavy howitzer. Baghdad town? Oh, you bet it is. Thank God, Bhutan has gone. Better planes. We gotta get some carrier fighters and stuff like that. If we were gonna use them. There you go. Why not? Screw it. We'll do something different. See what you can do about that. Well, screw it. Since you're down here anyways, might as well help them all out. Might as well. Big old bag daddy. Cut them off if you possibly can.
And there goes E Rock. Ah, I don't want any more infantry divisions. We're okay. Maybe. We'll see. Anything else around here? Total mobilization, export focus, limited exports, lower the amount of rubber, maybe. Hey, Nepal's falling gone too. Good job, guys. I guess we're still struggling over there, but whatever. Now I guess we can actually spread through here like normal. As you really should. So that's not too bad. You guys will be suffering over there just a little bit. Send the tanks down this way, and they're probably all going to die, but that's what we're willing to take. To pull up the Suez Canal. Thank you very much. And then have you guys suffer extreme attrition in the desert. Nothing says fun times like extreme attrition. Federation of Socialist Republics. Bulgaria, what are you up to? Go get Dimitrov. Dimitrov, hello, the hero of the Leipzig Trials, huh? Lessons of horror. Alright. Means wage war, though. Followed up with. This one, which we need military engineering university. While many are proclaiming the end of uh, French trench warfare following the development of the tank and airplane, it is clear that military engineering still has a place on the modern battlefield. We should form an institute to study modern methods of constructing modern field fortifications. Let's see, what else is down here? Western bound, the old enemy, which we can do against Sweden. Secure Finland, which we did. Secure the Baltics, which we already did. Pan Slavic nationalism, which is okay. Get a war go against Germany. That's probably not the way I want to go. I mean, I'd love to do that one. But we'll probably go the rightful heir to the empire. We might end up killing Italy. I do want to go to war with Turkey as well, though. So, third Rome. It'll be bad, which is probably the route we're going to take. But I think I'm going to end it here for today and play slightly more off screen. And I think the main goal is to take out the UK. Just have all of Europe under at least the Axis. I think that'd be a good goal. And oh, you abandoned us. As well as maybe Turkey. We'll see what happens with the Turks, though. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we will continue struggling against those in Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.